What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to generate an X-Horse Universal Smart Key for Nissan and Infiniti vehicles. We're using the X-Horse Key Tool Max and X-Horse Nissan Infiniti Style Smart Key. This is a universal key that you can download pretty much every make and model using that keyway for Nissan's Infinities too. They are very helpful to have. I'm going to show you what to do here. We're at our key to a main menu. We're going to go to vehicle remote. We're going to find Nissan or Infiniti. For this example, I will do a 2019 Nissan Altima, which is a pretty common vehicle here in America. So we'll go to Nissan. I've got all remotes, but if I close this out and go by model, I'm going to select Altima see if we can find our year range of 2019 to 2023 and we'd also want to know our FCC ID just to verify that we get the right remote which we have here ending in X and as in Nancy and the number three so let's go ahead and select this all right so now what we can do is we can take our key we can put it in our antenna. Now if that doesn't work, flip it around the other way. Sometimes it needs to be uh, one side or the other to get a good reading on. And we're gonna hit generate remote. Now, see how it gave me an error? It's a wireless key, so there is a battery in there. One thing you want to make sure is you have the battery. I flip it over. Let's try retry. Okay, now that I flipped it over, it seems to be working. One thing I want to point out is our chip type of ID4A and our frequency of 433. We're going to verify that that's the information that downloaded to this remote before we end the video. Alright, so it's counting down again. just want to point out that these, these keys are very helpful. If you do a lot of Nissans, you know how tedious it can be to keep up with all the options out there. So to have these universal keys, the Autel ones work great as well. Um, I couldn't recommend them enough. Definitely let it count down, do its thing. If you move the key around the key tool, it'll give you an error. All right, as you can see, it's not the quickest thing out there. I'm hoping to show this in real time just so everybody knows what to expect. Nobody gets discouraged if they feel it takes too long. We should be wrapping up here on the generation and then we'll check everything was burnt successfully. It is telling us successful, so let's go ahead and hit complete. If we hit continue, it's going to do another one. So let's go ahead and check our work. We'll back out. I'm going to go to Transponder Clone, and I'm going to read the transponder that is on this key. Just as we stated before, we want to see that 4A that we got up top, so we're looking good there. Let's check the remote frequency. Go to Remote Clone. Now this should be 433. And as you see at the top there, when we hit our button, got 433. So. 
there you have it. Hope this helps. If there's any recommendation on videos, let me know. Thank you guys for your time.